Welcome to our segment of Conversations with Morning Coffee. Hispanics and Latinos are some of the fastest growing groups in the U.S., yet we are virtually invisible on screen. You know, and Latinas are mostly naked 37.5% of the time, likely to be either partially dressed or nude on the big screen. Does this mean that we are finally being included in the mainstream, or are we under the illusion of inclusion, and do we need to take a stand? We're absolutely under the illusion of inclusion because we have, we've been misrepresented uh, throughout history in Hollywood. And um, I think now we should um, work towards changing that misconception that there is of Latinos and Latinas. Um, if you go to South America, many Latinas don't look like what they promote and advertise in, in Hollywood. So I think you know it's, it's very important to make a statement about how we've been misrepresented and how, you know, we are being portrayed as, um, you know, lower class people. I uh, tend to completely agree with you. I think that um, there's definitely uh, a stereotype of what a Latino person looks like, uh, according to Hollywood. And um, it definitely creates limitations for actors um, in terms of, you know, their look, uh, whether they, they might, if they uh, have an African background, they might not be able to book work. If they are um, more Anglo looking, you know, they might be told, well, you know, you, you, you can't play this role because you look white. Um, and so I think there's like this gray area where people just, they, it's not really clear. Um, th well, not that it's not really clear, but that basically everybody has to fall into this little fancy box. And if you don't fall into this box, then you're not considered Latino and you can't play this role. And then again, like you were saying, um, most of the roles that are available are roles where you are playing a criminal or where a woman's being objectified and she's scantily clad and she's got, you know, everything sort of just hanging out and she's a sexual object. But I, but I mean, okay, so I mean, what about for companies that are doing this for the money? What about from that point of view? Um, well, you know, money is one thing. However, um, I, I, you know, I think it's, we have to look at it uh, at a bigger, bigger picture. Um, how is this affecting our youth? How are these young women growing up? You know, when, when you're a kid and you're looking on screen and you're like, okay, this person looks like me and they're portraying a drug dealer or a murderer or the women are being portrayed as some sort of sexual object, I mean, how does that affect our children and the people that are coming up? You know, that is very true. I mean, again, another, um, according to the numbers of a 2009 University of Georgia study entitled The Multicultural Economy, Latinos make up 25% of movie ticket sales and command roughly one trillion in spending power. I mean, how do you feel about the numbers being represented here? Well, I, th I think the numbers go to tell you that um, there is strength in numbers. And, you know, we are, we are the minority who has, has become the majority. And um, we are definitely a very influential part of the United States. And, um, you know, we can see it. I mean, we are the ones who go and consume the products that are out there, whether it's CDs, concerts, uh, movies, rentals. Um, so I think, you know, we definitely are a big influential part when it comes to the financial aspect of the, of the industry. And I think we should take a stand and try to change that. Yeah, and I, I agree with you. And I think one of the ways that we can do that is now with the advancement of technology and um, all of the access that we have to uh, the media with YouTube, with Vimeo, with all of these different outlets, um, you know, we, we can have a voice and we need more um, Latino writers to, you know, tell our stories, to represent us in a positive way, in a proper way, so that it's not um, that we're being portrayed as a stereotype, because we're not a stereotype. We come in all different colors, all different shades, um, from all over the world. We're everywhere, and people don't realize that. And the only way that they're going to realize that, that is if we have a voice for ourselves. That is very true. Again, look at all these diverse faces, complexities, and personalities. You know, it's time that we recognize that. Again, thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a great have a great night.